Hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up bit goals for your stream using Streamlabs CloudBot and Widgets. Streamlabs CloudBot and Widgets functions are all pretty much, I think most of them are free of charge, uh, although they may change this. They've got a habit of changing these things up. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can set up the bit goal, add it to your stream, basically make the most of those goals as well. Uh, all this will do is basically add a bar to your stream, a little bit like this and basically update the bar as you're going along as you're getting bits from your viewers now as with any goal it's best used when you're actually incentivizing some kind of event silly thing that you're doing if you're just putting a goal on screen to say i want a million bits here's my progress towards a million bits. The viewers, I'm telling you, the viewers are just going to be looking at you and thinking, what, why? Like, what's the point of this goal? So I always would recommend having some sort of event associated with your goal. In the video, I'll show you how to make the most of these and beautify them. And also I'll be showing you two methods to add it. One, if you're on Streamlabs OBS, how to add it as a widget through Streamlabs OBS the integrated software. If you're not on Streamlabs OBS, for example, if you're on XSplit, if you're on OBS Studio or whatever, I'll show you how you can add it as a browser source to your stream, resize it and all that kind of stuff. I have already done videos on follower goals, sub goals, donation goals. And the reason why I wanted to do all four, including this video, the bits goals, I then wanted to do a fifth video, which is a source switcher plugin video for OBS Studio. Now the source switcher plugin for OBS Studio allows you to rotate multiple sources one after another in the same space. So it's really, really useful for goals. You don't have to use it for goals. There's all kinds of applications for source switcher, but it's really useful for goals because it means you can have three, four, five different goals all in the same panel, but that just rotate and don't take up a lot of space on your stream. And of course, you've only got a certain amount of space on your stream. And generally speaking, people tend to like streams that are not very cluttered. So yeah, if you do find this useful, I'd definitely appreciate a like and if you want to subscribe to more content feel free to do so and yeah let's do this Okay, nerds, what we need to do here first is visit streamlabs.com and we need to be going into the section which is called all widgets on the left here. They sometimes change around all the different navigation stuff. So if you can't find it, just do a search for widgets in here. Now, when you log into Streamlabs online, you do want to make sure that you're logging in with the credentials that you want the bits goals to apply for. So obviously bits are Twitch. You need to make sure that you're logging in with your Twitch account here. If you don't log in with your Twitch account, then obviously the API can't pull the data to update the goal bar and yeah it's basically useless at that point it might as well be a paperweight if you're unsure about this there's also in the settings section you can go into this account settings area and just see what's actually linked and what account is actually linked I've, as you can see here i've got machine dana linked for twitch i do also have my machine dana linked for youtube which means my alerts from youtube also come through on my stream but i could unmerge them if needed so in the widget section we obviously want to be clicking on bits goal now there are two ways that you can add this to your software software depending on the software that you're using. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, the widgets, because it's from the same company, Streamlabs OBS and Streamlabs Online, they integrate pretty well. So you can just go into Streamlabs OBS and add the widget as a source rather than a browser source. I will show that later in the video, but you can still use this method that I'm going to show you now, which is using it as a browser source within Streamlabs OBS. The only caveat is if you're not using Streamlabs OBS, you have to use a browser source. So if you're here and you use, I don't know, Twitch Studio, OBS Studio, XSplit, OBS live whatever then you will need to use the browser source copying this link is what we'll need to do once we've configured all of the settings for the actual bits goal itself now just a note streamlabs do have here some widget goals as well which basically like themes the goals that you have to whatever theme you're using and you can click on these here to browse some of the different themes that are available most of the new modern themes that you'll see will also come with like a goal theme as well and all this does is update the css and html which was within the settings tab here. It enables this and pastes in the relevant code here. Or of course, if you're smart enough, like I'm not, you can update all this code yourself and do the CSS, JavaScript, and HTML yourself. So first of all, we're going to configure our goal with the basics, the title, the goal amount, starting amount, and, and the end date. So I want to get one billion bits, at least one billion. I think we can do that. Is that for, yeah, one billion bits. Actually, 
So for start, we need to give it a goal. Bear in mind, the best streamers don't just have a random goal. I mean, all right, the lazy streamers have random goals. It's just, I want you to give me a million bits. Give me a million bits. And that's great if you can get away with it. No names, Amaranth. The thing is, most people want to bring a bit of fun to it. Your viewers are going to want to see a reason why you've got that sub goal. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm a viewer and I see just loads of goals on someone's screen, I just wonder, like, what are they doing? What's, what is the goal? Is that just a goal you set this morning? Did you... Did you just... What wind was the direction in this morning so you thought you'd set whatever goal you want? At least have some sort of incentive for people to actually give the bits to help contribute towards the goal. So, for example, you might have... At this point, I'd normally do, like, a stupid goal, like, chop off my arm or something like that. I'm, not, I'm actually going to be serious here. I'm going to say I'm going to get a new PC rig goal. Obviously, someone's going to be more enticed to donate bits if they know that it's going to your PC rig. You then need to actually spend bits on the PC rig, by the way. You can't just, just take the money and run. Let's say 100,000 bits is enough to buy PC, possibly. I, I don't know. And let's say you've already had donations of 20,000 bits, or, or maybe you just want to have a placeholder amount, which is where it shows the goal bar up until. I think these are American dates, yeah. Month, date, and yeah. I don't know why they put the month first. So let's say we want to end this in November the 1st, 2020. So we've now got our goal settings here. We can start the goal as it is. We've got the sample goal here. But if you click on my goal, it'll show you your goal. But obviously, this is pretty boring. We want to customize all the settings and make this look a lot nicer than it already is. Maybe perhaps branded. Again, you can use the themes, but just the settings I'm going to go through today will at least show you how to make it a little bit more interesting to what we see here. Just bear in mind, though, that you do need to start the goal. It's no good just having the goal. You've got to go into Streamlabs online. You've got to log in. You've got to actually press, you know, start goal, end goal, reset goal or whatever. You can reset goal here. I think that resets it to zero. So I'm going to end goal and put the 20,000 back in again and start goal. That's the goal. So that goal is now essentially live. We now just want to beautify this a little bit. So in the settings, first we've got a layout setting, which is there's like a condensed version where it puts the writing with inside the goal. I think these look a lot tidier personally, but again, it's personal preference. So I'm going to leave this inside here, but just to note some of the settings down here, for example, the bar text color here relates to the text inside. And then you've got the text color on top, which relates to the text on top. Obviously, if you've got the condensed version, the text on top is basically irrelevant. We can choose the actual bit count to be on there as well here. That just adds the current bit amount. I would recommend doing that. It just shows a little bit more detail rather than a percentage. Text color, let's go for a nice a nice contrasting yellow color here. And then the bar color, I want to make a little bit on brand. Let's make it something like a, like a purple. Purples and yellows tend to go pretty well. If you're struggling to get color contrast well, then I would recommend doing a Google search for color wheels. With color wheels like this, any colors that are opposite each other tend to contrast really, really well, whereas colors that are next to each other will not contrast very well. So the text, if you had blue text on purple, it's not going to show up very well. But if you had yellow on purple, that will show up very well. For example, if you then had green on red, that tends to show up pretty well as well. But again, a lot of this is personal preference. I'm going to have the bar background color like a, a slightly darker gray color here. I think that looks quite nice there. And I'm actually fairly happy with the colors now. We can just choose the thickness of the bar. We might want it extra girthy or extra thin. I'm actually going to make this one fairly thin here. And now we got the option to select a font as well. I would recommend changing the font, just make it a little bit more different. I normally tend to go with Orbitron. It's just a fairly cool, like, modern looking robotic type font that I use. And I'm now pretty happy with the settings of what this goal looks like. So I'm going to save settings here, and I'm going to copy the widget URL. This will just copy to my clipboard, and if I'm not using Streamlabs OBS, I can use this link. If I am using Streamlabs OBS, I can still use that link, but there's a different way that you can do it if you're using Streamlabs OBS. So here we are inside of OBS Studio. I'm actually recording in OBS studio here so there might be some little funny bits and pieces here what we now need to do here is click the plus icon and we need to click on the browser source icon we can call this bits goal it's coal <laughs> It'll put a placeholder image here. What we want to do is just paste the URL here, just making sure to be careful to not give away the token there because other people can use that token. We can change the width and height, but we can do that manually in a bit anyway and cropping and stuff like that. I'm going to click OK on that. Now what will happen is we've got our goal in the background. We could just resize this to be however we want. For example, I might want to just pop it in the middle of the, in the, I don't know, the lower of the screen. We can right click this as well, click on transform, and we can center this on screen as well by centering vertically. And then we can use the arrow keys to make finer adjustments like up and down and things like that. So I'm going to place this towards the bottom of my screen. So we've got our goal in place and that's fine. We just need to make sure we're going back into Streamlabs OBS and make it so that on my goal, we've saved settings. On the manage goal, the goal is started here and then it should start to update. Here inside Streamlabs OBS, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing with the plus icon. I'm going to go to a browser source and we can paste in a new source, add source and paste the, the thing in here. But another way to do this if I just delete this 
in Streamlabs OBS because of the integration is to go onto the plus mark and go onto a bit goal here, click add source. Now, luckily, by default, it does save all of your online settings that you've just done here. But you can also tweak with some of these settings here, like the visual settings, source settings, or the goal settings itself. Once we click done on that, we can then do similar thing, manipulate this however we need to do it. Now, wherever you've put this, that bar will update every time somebody gives you bits, assuming that you've logged in correctly with your Twitch account. So there you go, how to easily set up the widget for bits goals on your stream for Streamlabs OBS or anything that supports a browser source. Hopefully you found this useful. Don't forget to check out the source switcher video or if you're interested in follower goals or donation goals, I'll link all those videos in the description here. When the source switcher video is available, I will change it to be... It'll be here, basically. Yeah, okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.